All right. Shall we start? Let's just get settled into our meditation posture. If there's maybe there's more people coming. All right. Oh, yes. I put myself back on gallery view so I can see you all. All right. Okay. Let's just get settled. <clears throat> all right. If you are sitting on a chair and your feet down on the ground, as usual, just make sure they're in a parallel position and perhaps have a cushion underneath your feet so your legs aren't kind of hanging down at a weird angle otherwise if you're sitting in the usual cross-legged position for meditation just be comfortable so don't try and force anything if you are able to put your legs in the full lotus position with each leg over the opposite thigh even if you can do that for you know 10 seconds or one second according to his holiness the Dalai Lama it's a it it's quite kind of auspicious and it creates the cause to be able to do it in the future now you'll notice if you do do that and please don't do it if your hips and back and knees and stuff aren't in a good place but if you do do that you'll notice how it immediately straightens your spine so the you know the very professional yogis up in the mountains would sit like that just in order to I mean help keep them balanced because if they're meditating for hours and hours and hours a day um, you know you want to be make sure you're rock solid in your body anyway make sure your sacrum is upright so if you can imagine your pelvic bowl um, having some liquid in it you wouldn't want to spill it out either side backwards or front so it just has to be straight and uh, hands in the meditation mudra, the right hand nestled in the left with the thumbs touching. And then let's just imagine your spine is a string of pearls of light. And they're radiating light, white light. And it stretches from your coccyx all the way up through the crown of your head and out the top. And you can imagine somebody is behind you very, very gently lengthening your spine and perhaps putting some air in between those vertebrae. Just let that spine just very gently lengthen out. If you can feel that as you do that, all the muscles in the back in your torso, just kind of very gently releasing. Don't force anything. The head is slightly tipped forward and the eyes are down as if you're looking at a spot about two inches ahead, tip of the tongue and the roof of the mouth, relax the jaw. And let's just go to the crown of the head. Relax the scalp there. And relax the forehead and the eyes and the eye sockets, the nose, the cheeks and the jaw, the area around the mouth and the ears. And if you were to go inside your ear, go into the eardrum, perhaps relax your inner ear. See what happens if we imagine we do that. I'm going to the, bring your awareness to the back of your head and relax the scalp there. Bingo, your face wrapped relaxes even again, yet again. Relax the back of the neck and the shoulders and the back. If you do have a back injury or some stiffness, maybe send some, just imagine sending some light there. Perhaps it's asking for some attention, some kindness. And take your mind to your throat, relax the throat and the chest and the belly and the arms, hands, fingers and legs and feet and toes. And let's just bring our mind to the breath. The uh, sensation of cool air as you're breathing in and slightly warmer air as you're breathing out. As you bring the mind to rest on the breath. And we just think we're doing this very, very 
short meditation this morning to help set ourselves in the right space for our day, whether we're working from home, whether we're no longer working, or whether we're going out to the office or to meet with other people in, in person. We're going to do this meditation this morning so we can be of benefit to others. We can basically working on ourselves, working on our mind, improving our concentration. So again, just bring to mind all the people of your life, the good ones, the bad ones, and the ones we don't know very well. And we're doing this meditation for them because we know they're continuously searching for happiness and not able to find it, continually trying to avoid suffering, and continually encountering it. And they're all the same as us. They wish to be happy, wish to avoid suffering, and their potential to become enlightened. We're also doing this for ourselves, for our own enlightenment, so we can help others. So bring the mind back to the breath. If there's any sounds in your environment, your external environment, or outside your home or the room where you're sitting, just inside your house, allow those sounds to be there. Try not to follow the sound with your mind and try and find out what's going on. Just allow it, just leave it. You'll see there's probably many things coming up in your mind. Perhaps it's got to do with what you have to do today, what's on your list, where you're going next after this meditation. Just try and you allow those thoughts to be there. Try not to judge them, try not to push them away. Just watch as they arise, they abide and they fall. And then bring the mind back to the breath. breath. And we'll try not to follow a story about all those thoughts. Or have a judgment. And very gently, we'll just move into our nine round breathing. So if anyone could indicate to me if they haven't done it before. Everyone's good. Okay. So I'll just remind everyone to start by breathing in through the right nostril, the blissful radiant white light. And pause at the top of the breath. Just pause and then naturally allow yourself to breathe out through the left nostril all your attachment energy and just let it pour out. Make sure all the breath is gone. Then imagine it disappears into space as this thick black yucky smoke. We'll do that three times. Then when you've done that three times, you go to the breathe in through the left. This will radiant light. Breathe out through the right, all your anger energy, this time all the anger and the bitterness and the resentment and all the grudges. All your depression, your self-doubt. Coming down on yourself, just breathe it out, get rid of it. Disappears into space. And then through both nostrils, breathing in blissful radiant white light and then just breathing out all your ignorance and this in this, sex, in this context of this meditation, it's ignorance of understanding the reality of how things actually exist. So in our tradition, it's talking about emptiness. Okay, so we do each one of those three times. <clears throat> Excuse me, and we repeat that three times. 
So we're just doing our own time, starting breathing in through the right nostril.
I'm going to just bring the mind back to the breath. And just feel, just try and get a sense of where you're at now compared to where you were 15 minutes ago. And how easy it is to settle the mind. Bring the mind back to the breath. Now visualize in the space above your head, about two inches above the crown of your head, a sphere, a sphere of white light. It's a little bit smaller than your head. And it's pure, transparent, and non-material. Try and uh, meditate on the presence of this light. And don't worry too much if it doesn't appear clearly to you. Just try and get a sense of it being there. And just think that this sphere of light represents all the universal goodness, wisdom, compassion, love. And it's the fulfillment of your highest potential.
Now just imagine it decreases in size until it is about one inch in diameter, which just kind of melts into the crown of your head and absorbs into you and descends to your heart center, to your heart chakra. And once it reaches there, it begins to expand once more, very slowly spreading to fill your entire body. You can imagine that it's spreading through your body, all the solid parts of your body will dissolve and become light. So your organs, your bones, blood vessels, tissues, muscles, your skin, and even the hairs on growing out of your skin, your fingernails, toenails, your eyelashes, your eyeballs, your tiny cells, the internal mechanisms of every single cell in your body becomes light, pure, translucent light. So for the next a uh, couple of minutes or so, just concentrate on the this experience of your body as light and that all the problems, the negativities, the hindrances have completely vanished and you have reached a state of wholeness and perfection. So if any distracting object should arise, that's a thought or a, a vision, and you can dissolve it into light, let it dissolve into light. But we can actually meditate like this maybe for another five minutes, four or five minutes. Try not to space out, keep focused.
Now very slowly, very carefully, bring your awareness back, if you've been anywhere. Just bring your mind back to your body and just check your the weight of your sit bones on the cushion. Perhaps feel the weight of your hands in your lap. If your arms are resting on your lap by your side. And just notice where your body is in space. As we bring the meditation to a close and just dedicate all the positive energy that you've created in this very, very short 30 minutes to all the people of your life, to yourself, your own eventual enlightenment. And I thank you so much, everyone, for your attention and thank you for hosting, Matt. It's so lovely to see you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day and take care and lots of love. And I'll see you again soon. Okay. Thank